The fear of death can exhibit itself in two main ways, death denial and death anxiety. These are two terms that we've used a lot in our videos and it's recently come to my attention that I may have not explained what exactly they meant. So today we're going to define them. And heads up, please subscribe, like and share this video. It really helps it get seen by the YouTube algorithm, which means more people are able to find it. And now let's talk death denial and anxiety. What is death denial? Death denial doesn't mean a person believes they are immortal and will never die. That would be far too simple. Ernest Becker, a cultural anthropologist in the 1970s, wrote a great deal about this, and I've recommended his book on our Instagram and TikTok pages quite a few times. Now, according to Becker, the knowledge that we as individuals are fated to die is a uniquely human problem, one that leads to despair, mental illness, and paralysis of the will. As a result, he claims, we humans have evolved different methods to repress the fear of mortality. There is the belief in the afterlife that's found in most religions, while in secular societies we may commit ourselves to political causes or national identities that will live on after we die, or the commitment to a lifelong work that will go on to exist long after we die. In short, human beings struggle to comprehend that we live a life which, in the end, doesn't really mean anything. The search for the meaning of life, well, we make movies on it. You live and then you die. No different to a house plan, really. Now, on the surface, believing in religion, committing to a cause or lifelong work doesn't seem like an issue. But it becomes an issue when someone puts every ounce of energy, resources or sanity into it. Wars have been fought over religion because everyone wants to believe that their God is the right God because they are betting on that God to provide them with an afterlife, which will mean how they've lived their lives will mean something. Governments and rulers throughout history have preyed on this need to believe in an afterlife in order to manipulate societies over and over again in order to get what they want. Now, if you're religious, you're probably going to take great offense to that. No doubt that's why we haven't made an entire video on it, even though I've certainly been pushing for it. So let's look at it from a different angle. Those lifelong projects I mentioned, also known as immortality projects, the most common of these projects are author's books and writings or an architect's great monuments. These works are predicated on the belief that as long as your name is not forgotten, then you will always exist. For the most part, these projects bring people happiness long after the person is gone. However, they can go badly. Like when, say, a mass shooter does his thing, screaming that he wants to be like all the others and remembered forever. On a more individual level, death denial becomes a real issue in palliative and hospice care. If a patient, or their family for that matter, refuses to believe that they are dying, then medical staff can't make a plan for treatment for them. The whole, I'm not dying, God will save me mentality, means that the open discussion of dying, the option of dying at home, Stopping futile treatments, advanced care planning, and control of symptoms can't be discussed or implemented. But the death denial that we see every day is the people who say or think, it'll never happen to me. The teenager taking drugs, I won't die, it happens to other people. The drunk driver saying, I won't crash, it happens to other people. A smoker saying they won't get cancer. A ship's captain saying his boat will never sink. A parent saying their kid won't be the one to die while at partying. Denying the existence of something doesn't mean it won't happen. What is death anxiety? This is the simpler, more common way that the fear of death presents itself. For some, it is the constant, when will it happen, when will it happen kind of thing. For others, it is the fear of the dying process and of being in pain. For others, it is about being separated from your loved ones. In a nutshell, it's the fear of the unknown. Most people have some level of death anxiety because as humans, we're aware that death is inevitable, but we don't know the where or the when or the how, and that freaks us the hell out. But like any other form of anxiety, it should not be at the level that impedes your ability to function. And if this is the case for you, then I strongly recommend some therapy. But for the majority, this anxiety is more likely going to cause procrastination, like putting off doing your will, or insecurity, like not wanting to talk openly about death. And that's why we created this channel. 
because the more you talk about it, the more normal and natural it's going to feel to do so. And voicing your fears can be a massive weight off your chest. I do hope this has clarified a few definitions for you and hopefully not pissed off too many people in the process. If you have found this video helpful or interesting, please help out the channel by giving us a like and subscribing. It means a lot. If you have any questions, chuck them in the comments below. Now go talk death.